son has been avoiding his responsibilities long enough. It's high time he married and settled down. Of course, Your Majesty. But we must be patient. I am patient! But I'm not getting any younger, you know. I want to see my grandchildren before I go. I understand, sir. No. No, you don't know what it means to see your only child grow farther and farther and farther away from you. I'm lonely in this desolate old palace. I, I want to hear the bitter pattern of misery again. Now, now, Your Majesty. Perhaps if we just let him alone. Let him alone? His silly romantic ideas? But, but, sire, in, in matters of love. Love? Ha! Just a boy meeting a girl under the right conditions. So, we're arranging the condition. But, but, Your Majesty, if the prince should suspect. Suspect? Ah! Look, the boy's coming home today, isn't he? Yes, sire. Well, what could be more natural than a ball to celebrate his return? Nothing, sire. And. All the eligible maidens in my kingdom just, uh, <laughs> happen to be there. Why, he's bound to show interest in one of them, isn't he? Isn't he? Yes, I, uh, the moment he does. <laughs> Soft lights. Romantic music. All oh, the trimming. <laughs> it can't possibly fail. Can it? Yes, sir. Uh, no, sire. But very well, sir. I should arrange the ball for... Tonight. Tonight? Tonight? Oh, but, sire... Tonight! And see that every eligible maid is there. Yes, your majesty. 